welcome to my cooking video. This is a first in hopefully a series of videos. Um, I'm sorry I'm topless right now. I like to do all my cooking topless, unfortunately. Fortunately for some of you, I guess. But yeah, anyway, today we're gonna be making pancakes, but not just any pancakes, colorful pancakes that are logos. We're gonna be making a few logos today, especially mine, because that's important, I guess. All right, but without further ado, let's get into the pancake the, the ma making thing. So we've got our ingredients here. Um, we're gonna have to be filling these bottles up with the colored pancake mix so that we can do this. So let's let's jump straight in. Um, so we I don't really know what the consistency of coloring to pancake mix is gonna be here, but we'll find out. I've already prepared this one here, so there is some pancake mix in there, ready to go. Uh, we needed water with that, so I used this machine. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's go for yellow first. Um, I'm just gonna dip in a little bit of mix. I mean, not mix, coloring. I don't have a clue how much I need. That's part of the fun, I guess. Not really, it's probably not that fun. All right, and now we're gonna tip in our pancake mix just like that. That's probably a bit more. There we go. So that is all the pancake mix we've got in that bottle. That's the wrong lid. <laughs> this is the right lid. Now, before you shake this, make sure that the cap is on it. You don't want it going everywhere. That would suck, and mum would be upset. There you go, look at that. Look how yellow that's looking. All right, give it a bit more of a shake till it gets nice and shaked. Boom, there we go. All right, so you might be wondering, Josh, where's the rest of it? Well, hold on a second. I'll be right back. I already did them. It's, yeah, I already did them. I'm not gonna waste your time or my time. So now that we've got all of our uh, pancake mixes here, two yellows because yellow is extra special, black, green, and red. We don't need this one. No, I didn't like that one anyway. All right, so now that we've got all of our pancake mixes, we need to get out the pan and get warmed up, get going. There we go, this is our pan, just so you know. We're gonna turn this to medium heat, which is just the best type of heat for what we're doing. We don't really need any oil for this uh, because then it won't move around and they're pretty liquidy, which is probably not great to be honest, but we'll figure it out. Now, while we wait for that to heat up, one thing I am gonna get is uh, just another little angle for you guys. There we go, we're gonna put on a, grow pro, gro a grow pro, a grow row. This might look a little bit silly, but uh, at least you'll be able to see all the action. All of, all of the action. All right, now that we have this perfect angle, you guys can see it right now. Uh, I think it's time to get into it. So our pan is heated up appropriately and it's time to get designing. I don't know which one to do first. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll go for the jelly logo first. Now, not really sure what to expect. All right, so here we go. We're going for our first pour. If everything's working fine, it will come out of this little tube thing. <laughs> It's not working fine. <laughs> All right, it turns out this one, oh, the lid's a bit loose. Turns out this one wasn't really shaking great. While we wait for that one to sort its life out, we are going to do the red one. Let's do a tester. I think that's a good start. So we're gonna draw a J. Look at that. That's working perfectly. I've got a lot of hope for this now. There we go. Look at that. That is one beautiful looking J. All right, so we, as part of this test, we'll use a couple of different colors. Um, it's already going well, I, I think, I, I guess. We're gonna draw a little smiley over here. Oh, a big blob came out. There we go. Um, what else? I don't really know what, to, I guess we'll do, we'll use a different color. Let's see if black's working. And we'll do a T. All right, there we go. Look at that. And now I guess, I guess we just wait. All right, so we've left it probably a little bit too long and it's kind of burning now. Um, we should really flip it, but we kind of made this really complicated. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, that looks good. So um, he he here we go. Here is our J, everyone. Uh, what happened to my J? Uh, and the smiley face is, is over here as well. Let's put that on my hand. Oh no, oh no, so he's not smiley anymore. And then here's the T. So that's a pretty good start, I guess. But uh, you know, on to bigger things. <laughs> All right, so now we're ready. Hopefully the jelly logo is ready to be made. Uh, the jelly bottle seems to be still a little bit not great, so we're gonna wash that out real quick. <laughs> All right, so you can probably see the Jelly logo on screen right now. Um, that's what we're gonna be trying to shoot. Shoot, we're not gonna shoot anything. That's what we're gonna be trying to cook today. Um, so first of all, we gotta start with the, the head and then we bring it down a little bit. Oh, <laughs> we had a bit of a blockage. 
And there we go. All right, so that's kind of the jelly shape right there. All right, we need to fill it in a little bit as well. Uh, we keep hitting blockages, but it's fine. So we need to do this quick so we can get the black outlining going. There we go, nicely done. All right, now let's move on to the black and I guess dip some eyes in. So there's, I can't really remember what jelly's. Oh, there's one eye, there's the other eye. And then we need the big jelly mouth. There we go, and I think he has some teeth as well. And last of all, we just need a nice black outlining. There we go. Now I'm noticing this black is not really as black as I thought it was. I think we've been scanned a bit. Does Jelly have a nose? I don't think he does, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now I haven't quite done this right. I should have really done the black bit first and filled in around it. But as with life, you know, we learn from our mistakes. So let's wait until this one's done, I guess. <laughs> Oh wait, I just realized um, I've forgotten a tongue. It's a red tongue, I'm fairly sure. So let's let's do that there. Uh, I think it's a bit late to do the tongue, to be honest. But I guess, I, I guess it kind of, it, it works. It's kind of sitting on his teeth a bit, but that's fine, I guess. <laughs> All right, and now we just wait. We're gonna give it a flip over. It's t supposed to flip over and then look better, but we didn't put the black eye bits in first. So you're not gonna be able to see those on the other side, I don't think. We'll find out. All right, I think we are ready for the flip. It's time to see how it came out on the other side. <laughs> There's no eyes. There's absolutely no eyes. But it, it looks good, I guess. Um. <laughs> Look at his tongue. <sighs> All right, I don't really know how much longer we should let this sit for. Honestly, I think that we should let it, you know, put it out of its misery at this point. But um, yeah, there we go. Let me just turn it around so you guys can see it a little bit better on this shot over here. There we go. Look at that. It's jelly. Uh, jelly, why are you in the pan? <laughs> All right, um, so I'm about to go on to Geordie's uh, logo now. I tried to mix some red and yellow and we've turned out with brown. I was looking for orange, but you gotta count your losses, I guess. All right, so we're gonna do it back to front this time, which we didn't do last time. So we're gonna start out with the outside of the K and then work our way in. So there we go. And looking good. Look at that, that's not that bad. Uh oh, we got an edge. And then go connect down. I, there, you, that's a K. I think that's how it is shaped. I don't really know what it looks like. Quibble Cop. All right, so the thing is with Quibble Cop's one is he also has some black bits in the middle, kind of. So we've got to kind of do those bits as well. It's, it's very similar to what we're doing. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, there we go. And now we just kind of need to fill in the edges with our brown. <laughs> uh, so let's do that. There we go. It's kind of yellowy orange, so we'll take that. There we go. Nicely done. Let's fill in that little hole in the middle. Oh, we kind of overflew that. A little bit. That's not that bad, to be honest. Look at that. All right, so obviously we can't forget the little like flash of fire or something that comes out the edge. So we're just doing that now. That's perfect. And now we're gonna wait a couple of seconds before we fill that bit in. All right, we're doing it now. Oh my God, that came out too fast. Okay, I'm kind of rushing a bit as the whole thing is burning around me. There we go. We're about to run out of our orange brown. There we, uh oh. Yeah, I just realized how much it's burning. <laughs> Um, all right, there's our flash. Okay, and now we just need to wait for, for it to finish, I guess. All right, it's that time now that we need to flip it over. This is where it really shines. This is where it really looks beautiful. We're getting under there a little bit. This one seems to be a little bit thinner than the other one. Ha! Oh, wow, okay. It's the wrong way round. <laughs> It also doesn't look great, but it's like the perfect orange. I'm actually really impressed. Look at that. That turned out really well. Color wise, nothing else went right. That It was all a failure. But the color, that's that's good. All right, let's just kind of flip it back over. Okay, yeah, that doesn't kind of look terrible. Oh no, we screwed up. Hang on, hang on, get out. Okay, there we go. So that's that one done. Time to move on to the next one. All right, last but not least, it's time to do the slug logo. I've learned a lot of things. For example, we need to cover it on the back to really get it looking good when it comes through on the other side. Uh, but yeah, let's start up with the outline. We haven't got white, I'm realizing, so the eyeballs aren't gonna... Unless we give them like green eyeballs or something. I don't know, we'll see. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with the slug shape. There we go. And then we're gonna do some 
eyes looking good, being very careful. We have an arm coming off there, and then another arm. They're not arms at all, Josh. What are you talking about there? Uh, and then we do have some, some little bits here. I'm not really sure that's how that's coming out. Oh God, we're getting drips. All right, there we go. So I think that's the shape of it done. Now it's time to fill it in with the, wow, no, we have bits of yellow. This is not going well. All right, uh, I guess we have some, I've forgotten where the yellow is. I know what, I'm just gonna kind of freestyle it. The wings get to be yellow. Uh, and then some more yellow here, and then a bit of yellow down here. Um, and then we're gonna get red eyes because Welcome to this. All right, there's the red for the eyes. And then, now we gotta douse the rest of it in order to get the rest of the body. I probably should have put more yellow on it, but that's just how it is, really. Uh-oh, we're kind of running out of the black. I didn't realize that we'd be using so much of this black. I think we're literally creating the demon slug from hell, Halloween edition right now. Um, those eyes look crazy. <laughs> at the moment. Uh, we've still got to wait a little bit. We kind of made a very thick layer on the body. So that's kind of taken a while to cook and probably the rest of it's gonna burn. All right, so now we're ready to flip the slug, I think. <laughs> it's a very thick slug, but I think we should be able to do this. We gotta, those eyes are gonna break. <laughs> I didn't really take this into account. I probably should have made them thicker. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. Come on, come on, buddy. Look, that's one eye, that's another eye. Now, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> do, you, do you see the resemblance? Do you, do you see it? Probably not. <laughs> and there we go. That is the, the slug, the final piece of the puzzle for all of our logos. Is it too hot for me to pick up? Ah, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> it looks drunk. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, uh, we're done. Let's bring it over to the plates with the rest of them. Now, the way this is kind of supposed to work is you flip them over and then that's kind of like how it looks good. But these ones look terrible when they're flipped over, especially this thing. Actually, this one's not too bad. Maybe I'll flip that one over. So here we go. Here is the first one here, this side and that <laughs> And then the uh, Quavo Cop one is here. Doesn't look too bad, honestly if it was the other way around. And then finally, the slow go man one, which is also the wrong way around. All right, uh, so here we go. Here's all the plates. Make sure to uh, let me know in the comments which one is better. First up, we have the slug. Next up, we have the Quebble Cop K. And lastly, the, the jelly. Ah, uh, the jelly. <laughs> Drop a like if you guys wanna see more of this type of video and have a very good day. Bye bye we're done <laughs>